Hello there and welcome to Picture This New Media. It's Halal Ernie here speaking. And today I'm I'm going over the uh, the new comic book day hauled releases. Um, what I plan on getting, what I recommend that you get, and what I recommend you probably skip. Um, but first I want to go ahead and show off my uh, my link tree. If you go to at Picture This New Media, one word. You get to see all of my, uh, my all of my social medias, uh, ways to pay and donate to the stream. Uh, I, I'm on Twitch now. I'm on Rumble. I'm on Patreon. Uh, I post stuff to Facebook sometimes, and I'm always on Twitter. I even got a Reddit group. So yeah, uh, please interact. Please check it out. Uh, check out my YouTube channel. It's growing 135 subscribers. Thank you so much. I got six uh, followers on Twitch. So I'm moving on up there. So I appreciate all the all the uh, support and thank you so much guys. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and get right uh, into it. Um, today uh, it looks like it got a pretty good uh, selection here. Well, I'm not going to be getting The Amazing Spider-Man, but that looks pretty good. The Daredevil one, the cover looks good, but I heard some mixed reviews about the comic itself. Um, I am reading Venom. Uh, I haven't caught up to number 10 yet, but it's looking so fantastic. The story is great. Um, you know, basically, Eddie, Eddie is disappeared. And he's been taken into another uh, universe, spoiler alert. And uh, basically Eddie's son, he's, I can't think of his name, it's, it's slipping my mind right now. Um, let's see if it has it here. Yeah, uh, it doesn't have... Um... Oh, Dylan, Dylan, there you go. Dylan is basically taking over the Venom that's been uh, hanging out with... Um, Eddie Brock this whole time so we'll see uh, how how it how he fares out after that next up is Wonder Woman I have no interest in that Cheetah on the Prowl 791 uh, then they have Axe Judgment Day number four I have no interest in that uh, Superman Son of Kal-El uh, number 15 by DC Comics uh, no real interest in that and I've heard a lot of lots of lots of uh, bad commentary on that so I recommend that you might skip that as well um, next one is X-Men Red number six I have not heard anything about that uh, looks like it's part of the Judgment Day series but uh, you know that's up in the air if you're an X-Men con uh, comic book fan uh, you might like it you might not uh, numbers Three of Edge of the Spider-Verse. I was kind of on the fence about getting this in the beginning and I think I uh, I made the right decision because they have come out with some cringy uh, different spiders, uh, Spider-Woman, Spider-Men and I, I I did not like the way that it was going in the reviews. Uh, Star Wars Obi-Wan. Uh, I started reading that but I I couldn't keep up with it. One, it was uh, it wasn't available in my local comic book shop, and two, it just what Marvel has done to Star Wars. It, anything new is, uh, uh, yeah. Um, Batman: Urban Legends. I have no real interest in the Batman series. King Spawn, um, number fourteen. I I haven't caught up with the King Spawn series, but Image always knocks it out of the park and King and the Spawn series has always been perfect. I may get this one. Uh Batgirl's not interested in Batman and Robin versus Batman versus Robin number one. I got um uh, I think a few comic book uh people that like Batman, the D C universe, uh might like this, but I'm gonna skip it. I'm also going to skip Iron Man and Captain Marvel. I have no interest in either of those. I'm not much of a DC person, but those ones, uh, these ones have gotten significantly bad uh, from what I've heard. Uh, Jurassic League number five, another thing I'm not interested in. 
uh, Midnight Suns, uh, another one I'm not interested in. Predator, not interested in. Bounty, uh, Star Wars Bounty Hunters, same. Spider Punk, uh, I hear some people like this. I hear most people don't, especially Spider Man uh, fans. I am Batman number 13. Haven't heard much about that, but not interested in. Uh, Dark Crisis, Wonder Woman. Um, Worlds Without a Justice League, you know, I, I don't know. I'm not interested in this or the X-Men. I heard really good silver uh, things on the silver coin. This is issue number 14, so I'd recommend uh, catching up before getting this one, but I do recommend this series. Um, Savage Avengers, I do not recommend, uh, looks cringy, same with the Future State of Gotham, uh, number 17, looks very cringy, uh, Do a Powerbomb, number 4 by Image Comics, uh, I'm not, uh, uh, what's it called, a wrestling fan, but I have heard really good, uh, reviews on this one, so... If you're a wrestling fan, this may right might be right up your alley. A Righteous Thirst for Vengeance, a very, very good comic book. And this is a season finale, issue number 11. I haven't been able to keep up with it, but the way that they do, uh, the the there's very few dialogue in the first like five uh, issues, but the storytelling and the way it's shown is wonderful. I highly recommend this series. Um, the Flash, I have no really interest in, in, in since uh, what it's, what's been happening lately. Godzilla vs. the Power Rangers, um, I might be interested in that if it was a number one today. The Bone Orchard Mythos, 10,000 Black Feathers, so it looks like a really good cover. Um, let's see here from the Acclaim creative team of Gideon Falls, Primordial in the Passageway, comes a bold new series. It's going to be a horror, uh, a horror type uh, comic book. Trish and Jackie are best friends and avid gamers, but when they, when the line between reality and their fantasy world is blurred by an evil darkness, can the, can they be the heroes uh, of their own story? So it kind of almost sounds like an isekai, but we'll see. I'm definitely going to check this out if it's available. Miss um, Marvel and Venom. Uh, I'm a big Venom fan, and I am not a Miss Marvel fan. Um, Venom is on the hunt. Who is hunting Venom? Miss Marvel and Dylan Brock are a new wicked web slinger on the block. block. Team up at to team up as a scheme to harness the symbiote that rears his ugly head. The finale will also reveal a connection between all three team-ups and fans won't believe. So, like I said, I really don't like Miss Marvel. Um, so, I am going to get this if it's available. And I will review number one and let you know what I think about it. Uh, let's see, Love Everlasting by Image Comics. Um, doesn't look like it would be up my alley, but Image Comics is, uh, pretty good. It's the number two anyways. Batman Hush, uh, not my, not my forte. Doesn't, doesn't look interesting at all. Seven Sons Part 4. This is a really good, uh, series about, like, um, basically adopting a new religion. The world is, and it's... It's creepy. It's really creepy. You're gonna like this. It's not recommended for uh, younger Muslims because a lot of Muslims watch my channel, so I wouldn't recommend them to you. But unless you uh, really, really strong in your faith and you can tell the differences between fiction and reality, um, IDW Publishing's Dark Spaces Wildfire. I am sad that I missed the beginning of this. This looks really interesting. Uh, I uh, I read the description before. Looks really cool. I'll, I'll show it right here. 
Our ragtag crew of firefighter inmates may have found what they are looking for, but along with it, they discovered the threat of something far more dangerous than a blaze around them. The trouble is just beginning. So yeah, definitely really cool, and I like the fact that IDW is not, uh, I don't know if Dark Spaces is the IP, so I'll, I'll, I'll zip my mouth about that. Um, Death Dealer by Opus Comics, uh, Frank Frazetta's Death Dealer, number five. I started it. I haven't read any of them, but they look very metal, and I highly recommend those ones. Uh, I just haven't been able to keep up with them because of time restrictions. Above Snakes, number three, looks very interesting. I I am sad I missed number one. Uh, Mindset by Vault Comics. I've I've got number one and two. It looks like a really good comic. I highly recommend it. Um, definitely, if you like the psychological thriller types. Um, Red Sonia, Immortal Red Sonia. Any re uh, Red Sonia fan will like it. I recommend it. Uh, Sacrament, I. I haven't read yet, but I've heard really good praises about this one uh, series. Uh, Young Hellboy Assault on the Death Castle. I, I recommend to any Hellboy fans. It's done by Dark Horse Comics, so it's really good. Uh, Aftershock Samurai Doggy. I really liked the first one of Samurai Doggy. Uh, really, really cool. Um, so I definitely recommend this one. I don't recommend Batman's mask uh little case book here. I don't I recommend uh Masquerade number one that looks really fun. The least we can do looks really good. Uh there's something with Pat wrong with Patrick Todd. I've heard really good uh, reviews and some bad reviews on this one. So uh I'll recommend it to Aftershock uh fans, anybody that likes Aftershock fans. I'm not a Star Trek fan, so I'm not going to recommend it, but if you're a Star Trek fan, uh, I don't think you'll like it, <laughs> judging by the cover. Um, IDW's, I'm not going to even pronounce, try to pronounce that. Uh, looks interesting. Looks like another uh, um, original content by IDW, so I see it looks like they're trying. Um, the Army of Darkness versus the Reanimator Necromicon Rising. Uh, I got issue number one. I haven't got up to it. I'm not that interested, but the I do love the Army of Darkness. I'm just not interested in this certain one. Uh, if you're a fan, you may or may not like this one. Uh, Joanna, I heard, or Jonah, I heard, is a really good series for younger viewers. So I might recommend this one for younger viewers to get them into the whole. Uh, fantasy lore elements. Bloodborne, always recommend. Really, really good comic book. Really, really good video game. Uh, Boom Studios Flavor Girls. I haven't heard anything about these this comic book, so I can't recommend either way. Does not look like it's meant for me, though. Uh, looks like it's meant more for teenage girls uh, that are kind of, tr if you're trying to get them into anime. Next up is Castle Full of Blackbirds. Uh, that looks really cool. I, I am very interested in that. Vampirella Mind Warp also looks really cool. Uh, the the Madball uh, versus Garbage Bale Kids, not something that I am very interested in. Uh, I'm going to pass. I, I might give this one a chance, uh, but doesn't look like anything I'm really into. Uh, looks looks pretty cool though, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, Dark Beach, I'm not gonna lie, I started this off and I fell off on the third issue so I, uh, I recommend it if you like the first one. If you like the first one I'd say stick with it. Last of the Shadowhawk, I'm gonna pass on this one because I got the first one already. Don't need to spend any more money that I need to. Um, Sergeant Werewolf by uh, Black Caravan Scout. Uh, that looks really cool. So I am definitely gonna check that one out. Let's see what it's about. 
Sergeant Steve Hovater leads a small group of U.S. commandos to infiltrate Liechtenstein Castle in Germany. Okay, so it's going to be one of those. That looks... I'm, I'm down with it. Down with that. Uh, Lunar Room. Uh, I will recommend as... Uh, if you're a viewer of my channel and you see what I like, it's it's about vampires and werewolves. It's a little teenagey and a little uh, mental illness haircut type of comic book, but I like it. I like it for some reason. It's a guilty pleasure of mine. Overwatch, I'm going to skip that. Uh, cover the Dead with Lime. Uh, it's not available in my comic book shop, but if it was, I would have gotten it, number one. And number two, um, a Blaze Comics, uh, Lovecraft, Unknown Kadath. A Blaze Comics always, always puts out bangers, so I'm going to recommend this one, because I, I think I'm going to get it. Space Lady by Behemoth Comics has been really interesting. I like it. I like it. So I'm going to recommend this one as well. Aftershock Comics, this this Zero Six Protocol, the the cover looks cool. I love Aftershock Comics. Um, let's see here, the seemingly perfect life of the Marino family is shattered when a family patriarch Faust is brutally murdered on the quiet summer night of his on the summer quiet night. His wife, Cat, and sixteen year old daughter Missy. That's a funny name are forced to confront the shocking truth about Frost's involvement in a secret government program known as Zero Six Protocol. Now Kat and Misty have to protect each other as they are hunted and haunted by the people and secrets of his dad's uh, Frost double life. That, I'm uh, not going to lie, the, co the cover looks really good and the description made it. I highly recommend that one. Looks like it's going to be great. I'm going to skip on Robin Hood, Baby Yaga. I've never really been a Robin Hood fan uh, from Xenoscope. Uh, I don't think this one's going to be in my local comic book shop. Um, Titan Book, Sherlock's The Scandal in Belgravia. If you like Sherlock Holmes, I, I guess Titan, Titan Comics has always done really good. I... I I'm going to skip Blind Alley because I haven't uh, caught up with it. Looks really good though. Um, and then we're getting into the Archie comics. Uh, could skip that one. Um, the Revealer by Vault Comics. Let's see how much more we got. The Revealer by Vault Comics. That's number one. Uh, spinning out of this summer's hit indie horror film Revealer. So it's off of a, a indie film. These four stories tie directly into the movie. Learn more about the characters, the lore reveals reveal the revealer's adult bookstore and what waits on the other side of the biblical apocalypse. So it looks like this is based off a movie. If you're a fan of the revealer, the movie, uh, this is this will give you a chance to uh, really dive deep into these characters. Honestly, um looks a little cheesy to be honest vault comics does cheesy really well um, I'll leave that up to you I'll leave that up to you I'm gonna pass um, but I'll leave that up to you pop star assassin number two um, looks cool I not not really my forte so I'm going to give that one a pass. And as far as the mangas, um, my, my local comic book shop doesn't really keep up with them as much as I want them to, but Jujutsu Kaisen is always a great one. If you're caught up with that, there you go. You probably already know. But I do recommend Jujutsu Kaisen and getting started with that. Um, but yeah. Uh, let me know if I missed anything. Let me know if there's something that you're interested in. Uh, in. Let me know if there's something that I'm not, that I said I would pass that you like. Uh, yeah. And thank you so much for watching. Salam alaikum. Have a great day.